next phase of the video is printing sticky notes. Download my sticky note template. The link is in the blog post and in the video description. Print it out and attach sticky notes in the squares before proceeding to the next step. Hello, it's Stamp Tech Camille Robinson. Today I'm going to show you how to print your own sticky notes. Um, perhaps you want to put a photograph or some sort of graphic element um, and stick it on a lunch box or a lunch bag or anything like that. First you're going to want to go and download my sticky note template. The link is in the blog post for the blog hop on the 11th of December uh, for Unity and it's also in the video description at YouTube. You're going to want to launch Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. I've already done that. And you're going to go over here and select File, Open, and you're going to navigate to the folder where you saved your sticky note template. I'm going to select it and hit Open. And there's my sticky note template. And then you're going to want to create a new blank file. And we want um, inches selected here. You're going to want two width, two height. It's going to be um, smaller than the sticky note, but I actually like to make it a little bit smaller so that when I drag it onto the template I can mess with it. And you're going to change the resolution to 300 if you need to. And then select OK. And then you're going to want to navigate to the folder where you save your pictures. I have them right here. So I have uh, a few pictures here, some black and white in color. This is my husband and Gwendolyn when uh, Gwendolyn was about a year old. Ah, okay. So you're going to select all, edit, and copy, then file and close, and then edit and paste. And then we're going to resize by selecting image, resize, and scale. And then um, I'm using my mouse scroll to zoom out. And then I'm going to take this, um, this little handle over here. And with my mouse, I'm dragging it to make the image fit in this 2 by 2 inch uh, square. So let's see. And I think I'm done. And once you get it how you like it, hit the check mark. And then we're going to go up to select, all, edit, copy, photo bin. You're going to find the template, which is here, and double click it, edit. And then we're going to paste the photo on here. And then we're going to move it up to this square up here. And then I'm going to resize it by dragging on that handle. I think I'm going to want to have a little bit of a white edge. And then you select OK, which is Commit Current Operation, that check mark. And then we're going to want to do it again. Uh, to do it again, just go to Photo Bin, select the picture. Then you're going to go to Select, Deselect. We're going to create a new layer over here. Select that. We're going to select the photo and put it in the trash bin. Then we're going to find the other picture that we're going to use. And I believe that was this one right here that I wanted to use. And I'll select all, edit, copy, file, close, edit, paste. Image, resize, scale. We're going to zoom out with the wheel of our mouse. We're going to grab this little handle and uh, right about there. All right, and then commit by selecting the check mark. Then select all, edit, copy, photo bin, edit, paste. And we're going to move it right up here and drag the handle with our mouse and get it as big as we want it. I think that looks good. All right. Now, 
What I want to do next is make sticky notes using this month's uh, challenge prompts. Uh, like we're going to do the cat, the color challenge picture here, um, the card sketch, and then the um, scrapbook sketch, and then a combination of the three here. I think it's an excellent inspiration tool. These sticky notes, you can uh, take them with you so that you can brainstorm ideas for the challenge. Uh, what you're going to need to do first is go online. Right now the old challenge is up because I'm actually doing this the day before the hop. And what you're going to want to do is, uh, using your mouse, go to the picture. You're going to right click and then you're going to hit save image as and you're going to find where you want to save your image. You could either do it in documents, de wherever. For instance, I'll select documents. And then you just hit save and just remember where you put that image. And you're going to do that for the um, card sketch and the scrapbook sketch. Okay, now we're going to go back to Photoshop Elements and I'll be able to drag the new challenge photo up. So we want to go to photo bin down here. We're going to select the canvas size that we're working with, which is two by two. And we're going to select create a new layer. We're going to select layer two here and we're going to drag it to the trash bin. And then you need to navigate to where you saved the challenge, the picture of the challenge from the Unity blog. Um, so you go to File and then Open. Here's mine. And select All, Edit, Copy, File, Close, Edit, Paste. And then you're going to want to resize it by dragging again this little handle here. And then, let's see, let's make it a little bit smaller. There you go. So then select all, edit, copy. We're going to go back to our sticky note template, edit, paste, and then drag it on. And then resize it. And then check mark. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do it um, for the how you drag your photos on uh, for the note template. I'm going to go ahead and do this quickly so that you can get to printing. Now, we're getting ready to print. So what you're going to want to do is go over and see the layer that's labeled background right over here. You see what looks like an eye? We're actually going to select not to see the visibility of this layer because, here let me click it, we really don't need to print this at all. We're just going to print this, our photos, onto the template. And if I didn't say so previously, whenever you get the template downloaded, you're going to want to print one out. That way, um, we're actually going to um, put sticky notes on it and run it through the printer, which is what I'm about to do now. So you're going to want to select File and then print. And I'm going to go and look at the template and I'm going to add the sticky notes to them. And then I'm going to place them in, the, in my printer um, the way that I would need them oriented in order for it to print correctly the right way. Okay, remember how I had said earlier you're going to want to print this out. That's what it looks like. I have placed white sticky notes on each square. And now I'm going to run it through my printer. And what I mean by you got to know which way to put it in your printer. With my printer, it's face down and the top portion will be fed like so. This is my big, huge printer. I'm going to feed it in there, see? Just like that. I'm going to close that and I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to say print. Now, 
we're, I'm not using screen capture right now, but I, I neglected to mention that you want it to be actual size. All right, so we're now gonna hit print and then I'm gonna show you what it all looks like when it comes out of the printer. Yay, there they are. Ta-da! And see what I got from Amazon. Of course, I ripped it open because I couldn't wait to open them. But they're by Post-it, and they say super sticky on them, and they're white. And you know what? They do a pretty good job considering, you know, I don't know if they're archival quality. But um, you know what? I'm going to be okay with that. Um, but look how cute. You could just take this and just stick a photo anywhere how about that huh or I mean what a great inspirational tool that is you know that way you always have the color challenge out for you to see right or you always have the card sketch out you could take it with you you get the idea it's pretty fun and uh, if you have any questions you can um, comment the video or you can ask on my blog and I hope you have fun with sticky notes.